So I finally finished farming Dauntless and it took absolutely forever but I can say it was definitely worth it. So if you check out the weapon enhancements, you'll notice it's kind of like the fighter colour because it has massive strength, dexterity and endurance. So essentially you won't be using this for like magic classes such as Legion Revenant but it is absolutely insane on VHL, Soul Cleaver and a bunch of other classes. The only thing I have to say if you're considering farming this is don't farm Dragon's Tear the usual way. So over here you'll need to farm uh, Malgo's armor and as you can see it requires Dragon's Tear. Now of course you could farm in this merge shop and do the Dragon's Tear farm which takes really long in my opinion. What you could do instead is just farm Ultra Malgo for 2 more weeks. As you can see here you can still get Dragon's Tear by doing 2 weeks of Malgo farming. So I just advise being patient and you know using that method instead. Also, as you can see the armor I have, this is actually used in getting Dauntless, but remember you can use the buyback shop to get it back, which is what I did. So make sure you use the buyback shop instead of farming the exact same item again. And you know, this is super useful in a bunch of stuff like when you merge dual NSOD to make... Uh, when you merge NSOD to make dual NSOD, you can just buy back your original NSOD. That's my advice for farming gear, and now let's get on with the actual enhancement. Alright now, before I show you the big orange numbers, I'm going to ask you guys to read it, because there's no point in getting an enhancement that you haven't even read the effects of. So, as you can see, it does 220-660% to of physical damage, increasing the lower your health is. It always hits in crits, and it does lifesteal based on how much damage you did and applies Dauntless for 12 seconds, increasing your crit chance, your haste, haste decreases your cooldowns by the way, and decreasing mana cost by 50%, and also applies Decay Cannot Heal to you for 6 seconds. Now, I'll talk about that in a second, the Decay Cannot Heal. A uh, 100% chance to activate on second skill. So every time you click your 2 skill with Dauntless on, you'll deal huge damage, it'll definitely be a critical hit. You also do lifesteal to make sure you don't die, and you'll also apply Decay Cannot Heal on yourself whilst giving yourself some other buffs. However, weirdly, the Decay Cannot Heal does does not apply to VHL's third skill. So watch this, I'm going to apply C Decay Cannot Heal to myself, and watch uh, me use 3 skill. HP went up. So basically, it's really good for VHL, like it's actually broken. And I know AE may be tempted to nerf it or something just because of how broken it is, it absolutely puts its Chaos Avenger in the dirt when it comes to solo DPS. Considering how long it takes to farm this and having to kill the hardest ultra in the game multiple times, I think it's a fair um, exchange for how much farming is done. Let's just hope AE doesn't nerf this as it's very well deserved. And maybe I should shut up, but like, VHL is like ridiculously broken now. Throughout the entire farm for this class, I was using VHL's farming, not Legion Revenant, VHL and if you farm this you'll you'll know why. The average HP of a monster for a new farm nowadays is like 10k, 20k, even 100k it's like crazy. And the bosses have like 1.5 million HP so unless you've got a huge group with you you're probably going to be using VHL. Like just using VHL and uh, an elixir and Felish filter like it was insane. It made it so much easier and you know VHL is my most used class, and I think it is for most people. And now that I've gone Dauntless, it will definitely be my most used class. And what's crazy is, it will now be even better at farming. Like, we all know VHL is crazy at soloing, right? And they did nerf the range from the 4 and 2 skill a while ago. But now that the 2 skill, it has a short duration, and it does huge damage, especially at low HP, like, let me show you now. Where if you're, like, below 1000 HP, this is how much damage does 300 HP and you do 26k per 2 skill. So it's genuinely a little bit broken for some farming areas. And that's basically why I said I should probably shut up in case AE genuinely decide to nerf this just because of how broken it is in every aspect. And like you can tell it was most likely even made for VHL. I mean it's fight enhancements. It's, this isn't really very good to use on magic based classes. But yeah anyway it's time to show you the rest of my enhancements and you know just soloing with this. So obviously I'm using Dauntless, Lucky, Class, oh let me switch up the cape, it should be Vainglory, now I'm in middle of combat, and for the helm I'm using Anwa, Clairvoyance, so yeah with these enhancements you can have like a mini Chrono class essentially, actually never mind, not even a mini, I scratched that, just a Chrono class, but better in some aspects, because hella Chrono classes are not that good if you can't consistently get a critical hit on them, but with VHL it doesn't matter, oh and the combo I'll be using, is basically spamming my skills by clicking 3 whenever my HP is low. And by low, I mean below 1000 HP. It's not worth going to super low HPs for Dauntless, it doesn't increase your damage that much. So just stick to below 1000.
20,000 damage per second without me even trying. Like, that was basically just me spamming and not using optimal damage. And 20,000 damage per second. Any enemy with 100k HP, soloable in 5 seconds. A million HP, 50 seconds. And just out of interest, let me put on um, an elixir on this. Let's use either battle elixir or destruction elixir. We'll go with battle for this one. And let's put on a uh, potion too, because why not? And let's test it out. Oh, my bad, I pushed my luck there a little bit, but as you can see, it got 30,000 damage per second. That's one and a half times more damage, and he was almost dead, just had to survive for two more seconds. I'll just try that one more time, a little bit more carefully this time. One T8 thousand damage per second. You know, if you have Void Harload and Dauntless, you, are, you essentially have the absolute peak of solo DPS in this game. I'm sure someone might say, oh, use Timeless Chronomancer, you know, it can do more. But no one's like, how often do you have boss with a million HP? If it, if it has like 700k HP and you don't want hella long setups or memorizing any long combos, VHL dominates the game right now. Is it possible to IOTA da Dauntless? If it is, it's unironically a good option, but I don't think you can IOTA an enhancement. Alina, if you're watching this, please make it uh, possible to IOTA enhancements. So that's VHL. Let's look at Soul Cleaver, the class I was asking to get buffed a couple weeks ago, which it actually did get buffed, has, is now like stronger than VHL is without Dauntless. Like, I never imagined this is the level it would go to in the space of a few weeks. One second being an absolute abomination of a soloing class, the next second being better than VHL. And the combo for this is pretty easy, you just do 4, 5, 2, and you want to click 3 uh, when your health is really low, so you can click 5 again. So just like this. One in 1,000 damage per second, that is on par with VHL. It's maybe slightly more complex to use, that is all, and obviously no one here is good at farming. But that is crazy numbers. There's only one other class I'd really recommend with this, and that is any variation of like Unchained Rockstar, I think it's called. This is another one of those classes that benefit from having low HP, high damage. I'm not going to test it out in this video, but I would recommend checking it out if you have it. And if you like the video if it was useful, and join Discord in description. And see you guys next time.